I completed. Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I am Knight in Phoenix. I am here with my brother Grey Ghost in Phoenix. And Angry One Horn is trying to catch up. He's one leg behind us here. Um, yeah, we just finished three. Angry just finished two. And we're about to start on leg four. The shortest leg of the bush trip. Uh, as I say, Sweden. So let's go ahead and hit continue and get this started. I can hear somebody's microphone is open. I know That's who it is mine. because Gregos has never done that, so. I was there catching um catching um what, is it catching uh, notifications or anything or something? Or it was just a slight hum. Oh, it's background noise, is what it is, I believe. Okay. It wasn't there earlier. It's ugly thing. Hmm. Okay, ready to fly. Okay, a farm map. Alright, so this one we're going from ESGG to ESMT. ESGG is right there. ESMT, right down on the coast. That's going to be pretty much a coastal flight. Go ahead, we will cancel that, turn that off. Uh, let's see, so we're going to take off and we'll go on a heading of 173. Uh, Vedage. So, launch from Gothenburg Landverter Airport and strike a course south. Fly just inland of the beautiful coastline until you reach the town of Vedage. That's a good 24 miles. So da, 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 let's do that. We have no altitude set, so we'll go 2200 because we can. Come outside here, zoom out a little bit. Fuel is good, 94%. Check your fuel the, balance. Okay, I will do that. Good thought. I'll get yes, I turned around. I looked at mine because I, I had done the transfer for the last part of the leg, and now my left wing has more fuel than my right wing. Come on. Wow, this is kind of fishy when it's on the ground here. Okay, let's go inside. Control three. Uh, my right wing has more fuel than my left. So I need to start a transfer. I'm transferring from right to left. Yeah, I see some. I see an airplane symbol sitting on the runway. Yeah, I see it too. I'm actually thinking it could be somebody sitting at the terminal. Well, I got him sitting at the end, southern end of the runway. Okay, looks like we are balanced again. So we'll turn that off. Here, north. How's that? 
That would be me. You're sitting at the northern end of the runway, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm. And I don't see anybody else here. Yeah, I don't either. He's nobody with a name tag. No. All right, I am ready to go. Park and break off. Yep. Okay. I'm ready. Rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Flaps, trail. Rotate. Flaps are up. So be. Oh yeah, it's a bunch of commercial planes down here. So I wonder in a game like this where you have access to so many different planes as opposed to real life where you're probably flying one plane, how do you remember, okay, well I'm in a DA40NG, I have to remember to transfer fuel from my right wing to my left wing, or if you're in a X code, you got to remember to do nothing, I think. And if you're in a Savage Cub, you gotta remember to look at your tubes and move the um, appropriate, or switch to the appropriate wing. Seems all kind of crazy. I would say it's sticky notes all over the wall. <laughs> okay. I was sitting there talking and my and my mic was muted. <laughs> oh, so that's why we didn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. What do you got? Fan, <laughs> air conditioner, and a motorcycle running in the background, or? I don't know, and I can't figure out how to suppress it. Wow. What kind of system it, are you is playing? Is it super on? loud? Uh, no. I mean, it's annoying. Right now it seems okay. to have disappeared. I don't know why. Okay, so that's probably my air conditioner. Okay. I thought you were in uh, Canada. So it probably kicked on. <laughs> no, I'm in Idaho. <laughs> okay. Air conditioner. It's been Idaho. 100 degrees. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah. I know. I know. Lightweight. It's not no 120. <laughs> What kind yeah, of uh, computer are you running? So, what's up? What kind of computer are you running? Is it 
uh, a home built, uh, pre built from somebody? You have an NVIDIA graphics yeah. card in there? That's, a, that's a pre built with an NVIDIA graphics card. Is it an RTX in there? Yeah, RTX 2080, uh, 20 R 2070 Supra. Okay, that's what Tom, Greg Ghost, and I have the 2070 Supras. So then you get yourself some software from NVIDIA. It's called NVIDIA Broadcast, and it will remove everything outside of your voice. We both use it. Yeah, I'll have to. That's not. That's on my laptop, so I'll have to figure out. Which has a 10, 10, so 1080 uh, RTX in my in my mm. laptop. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's if it's yeah, a it 10, has an RTX. That's okay. okay. It's an R. If it's an RTX, it should work. I think. Yeah. So I'll just have to do that. Yeah, I was just gonna turn down. I was just gonna go into Discord because Discord doesn't have any any uh, uh, filters or anything like right. that. Well, what's good about well, you're watching. I'm gonna turn down the right? volume. Hopefully, mm -hmm. my hopefully my volume of my voice doesn't go down too much. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Yeah, I can still hear yeah, you. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, so what I was, I was saying on regards to the different, air, the many different airplanes in the sim, and, and knowing which ones do which, um, it's just a matter of, uh, of of getting familiar with with the cockpit and of each airplane. And I was saying you guys have been uh, uh, subjected to a few different types, and and it's obvious that you guys were looking for that because that's what you said. You got into this cockpit, you're like, okay, I got normal and I got emergency. So you're looking for fill selector valves. Um, right. It's just that this one just happened to be slightly different. Um, yeah, as far as yeah, it's just, what we know, they might as well put the switch under the seat. We have no idea. We have no <laughs> yeah. this. It's like a, a, Cess, a Cessna 152, and then you go to the Cessna 172, and you know, and the 152 has an actual fuel cutoff valve that you have to turn on, like open, um, before you before you get fuel flow to the engine. But you hop into 172 and it doesn't have one, and you're, just, and you're like, well, <laughs> am I supposed to am I supposed to flip some on? Actually, I think it does on the front, but it's automatically in the on position or in the open, you know, the flow position. So, and then I just picked up a Cessna 170, and that's and that's a that's even more arcade. Oh, you guys are like over top of each other. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out why I'm still doing 134 knots. I got my throttle set for 90%. I'm not descending. I think I did that whole last leg with the one notch of flat that we were talking about here at the aircraft. I'm drop the throttle to 80%. Yeah, I'm at 85%, 131, 132 knots. Yeah, I'm so at 80% and I'm hovering 130. 129, okay, so let me bump this up just a tad. Sniper in front of us. We do. Snipers. Yeah, snipers. Yeah, NVIDIA broadcasts the software. You just get it directly from NVIDIA. Um, it uses the okay. Buda cores or whatever on your graphics card. And it pays attention. Uh -huh. I mean, so I'm going to do something right here. So, the entire time I wasn't talking, I was snapping my fingers right in front of the microphone. 
Oh yeah, um, I didn't even hear that. Right, it, it removes it. Um, it's just it's insane what it does. And there's um, we saw a video from uh, Linus Tech Tips, and they set that up. And there was a guy standing behind him with one of those handheld uh, mega megaphone. You couldn't hear it. It just it just removed, and we're both using that. You can tell it doesn't really affect the. Um, yeah, when it when it's not in use, you can hear me typing my keyboard, clicking my mouse. But with it in there, oh, okay. you don't hear any okay. of that. And that's and that's a uh, Nvidia broadcast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will uh, I'll, when I get up uh, flying, I will look into that and get that. Because I use I use uh, Discord and I watch Twitch on my laptop, and I have it going through my earbuds, and then my headphones are over the top of my earbuds, and that's what the the, the gaming computer. And then I have a separate mic on the gaming computer for when I'm streaming, um, and that all and that has all the noise suppression and software in it, so like it doesn't pick up any of my fan noise, and it's sitting right next to the fan, and that's why I had. That's why I had to uh, figure out how to do the noise suppression, but I, Discord doesn't have anything. So right. I, need, I need an external, and all the settings in, uh, in the basic sound settings are all, they're all uh, on, you know, to do what they can do, but they don't do a very good job of it. Yeah, it's, um, it's simple that to sure. use. It, um you just basically you tell it what microphone you want to use, and it basically creates a new microphone. So I have um, Twitch, not Twitch, uh, OBS. Uh, OBS. The input yep. microphone is NVIDIA Broadcast. The input microphone on Discord is NVIDIA Broadcast. So it just creates a new microphone. Okay. So you okay. can assign whatever yeah. input you want to it. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm going to look into that. That's, thank you for that. Yep. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, nobody will ever hear that air conditioner in the background again. Oh, dang it. I left my fuel transfer pump on, and now I am way out of balance. Probably take a look. I actually ran it down until I have low fuel in the right tank. And you can't, and then once you do that, you can't get fuel from the left tank to the right tank. I don't know. You're kind of hosed. <laughs> Dip your right wing? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't, because the valve, the valve will be closed. No, it's got to check for like it. Or, yeah, I'm sure it does. Yeah. Yeah, well, when you mentioned it, I saw it. That way you don't. Pretty good separation there, so I'm transferring fuel myself. <sighs> yeah, it's almost something you want to sit here and watch because you don't want to go too far. But it seems like it takes forever. Yeah, and, I, and, we, and we start and we started talking about all this stuff that kind of space, you know, because I don't fly this airplane that often. Um, I will if I fly in the next endurance race. This is the airplane I'll be flying. Yeah. I like it so far. I mean, it, we've still only our fourth flight in it. How are there? And then you and I played nice. with it quite a bit last weekend. Um, oh, I had to get off of that. I took somebody else. Stupid Alps. Yeah. I took somebody else out there to try that out, and they were getting frustrated as well. Yeah, well, uh, anybody who would try fun. to fly into that and take off from there is just going to go, you got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> with, with with this kind of airplane. Yeah. Now, I, I did it in the Cub. I did it in the Cub just fine. Well, sure, you well, can come in at like 40 right? knots and just stop, you know, and yeah. just touch the grass and, and, and you're and done. It, and, it has, and it has the power to get up the hill 
even if you stop on it. Oh, does it? Yeah. But this this thing didn't. <laughs> was it this one or was it the other DA40? It's the DA40NG. Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah. yeah. It's got that real yeah. narrow tail section there. Yeah. Which yep. reminds me of a helicopter back there. Helicopter fuselage <laughs> is what it looks like. They stuck wings on it. Says 165, 164 must be what we're on, number two. Yeah, because there's only three. Yeah. I've seen some people fly in this one for a while. I'm coming up on the, um, the last air the airport you guys took off from. Yeah, I did that a little bit earlier. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if you can turn that on. Yep, sure enough. Where's the stereo? Yeah, definitely need that. Definitely need that at night. Some pretty synchronized flying we've been doing for a while there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you guys. Quite a few people out there. there. A couple. Couple. And it's weird being a game where people could be playing from anywhere in the world. Those, I guess they are some type of a windmill down there. Something's not quite right. Wind generator, but those are those look like they're just uh, pictures from the satellite. Yeah, they look like they're laying down. Yeah, they look like they got they're blasted not, or not, something. They're not 3D imaged. You know, when you see, okay, so I see Sniper, okay, English for sure. And then you see Crankhead Spots, <laughs> it's like, okay. To me, I would think German, but... Yeah. Maybe. Then you got the angry fellow behind you guys. 
Oh, oh my one horn. <laughs> I think it's Swedish. Yeah. Hungry horn horn. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, about five miles out from the airport. Sounds like a goat from uh, a call or wild. <laughs> yeah, so these windmills are actually turning. Yeah, these ones look normal. Yeah. Those ones are 3D modeled. You don't want to hit them. No. It will wreck you. Okay. A lot of people like to go down low and fly to slalom through. Not in real life. <laughs> That'd be dumb in real life. <laughs> that would not be the wisest thing to do. I'm sure people have either done it or thought about it. Yeah. This airplane's pretty cool. It's kind of uh, winglets on the wings, too. Yeah. And I was wondering if that's why this thing seems to be feel so solid and steady. I guess the guy that designed those winglets, uh, uh, I think he's passed away now, uh, but he had a house uh, in central Idaho and basically like this large uh, garage or hangar type thing full of unique aircraft that he bought. Alright, heading uh, change 137. We're about 17 miles out. Alright. At Homestown Airport. So I'm at 2,200 feet, which is fine for the distance I am, but at some point I gotta think about slowing down and losing altitude, and that's always such a chore. I'm going to 75% on the throttle. the stutters when you come into an airport not, and it's not all airport but some of the ones that have like a ton of AI airplanes parked at them what if the stutters those AI airplanes land, are, uh, loading in um, I don't know maybe I'm, I'm starting to think about that possible because anything that because it's always loads in is going to you know, slow things down yeah and that's what just a whole bunch of extra that's a whole bunch of extra stuff that's not you know that that's extra stuff floating in and you don't get it at the you know airports that have less airplane that yeah we All don't right. really get much stutter and of course it depends on graphic settings and all that other stuff too but right. you know so yeah, well, Gregos and I were both running the RTX 2700 or 2070 uh, Supers. Yep. And we both have yep. the um, AMD. Uh, what is it? Ryzen. It's a Ryzen, Ryzen 9 3900X. 3900X, that's right. Yep, yep. So it's the 12 yep. core. We both have what, 32. Yeah, and I have, uh, Gigs of memory. That's what I got. Now I got the 10,900 10, i9 Intel uh, okay. processor, so it's yeah, so it's not a slouch. <laughs> yeah. We've got um, our hard drives, our storage, not even hard drives, they're both 
Well, our motherboards, they're ATX, or no, uh, didn't they look out, 8570s. Anyway, we have two um, M.2 SSDs. So, no mechanical drives in either computer. So we don't have to worry about that slowing stuff down, having to read drives. Yeah. All right, loading in. You're loading in to take off on four. Yep. Okay. Uh, you guys will fin you guys will finish up before I get there. That's yeah, cool. we're still got much of a final approach. Yeah, we'll get down on the ground and find some small jet or something and come harass you. <laughs> come harass me. <laughs> You guys are landing at EMST? ESMT. Yep. And is it where can find it? I don't oh. see it yet. <laughs> okay. I have enough fuel to do this leg. Oh shoot, speaking of fuel, crap. Oh, I'm good. Woo! <laughs> oh man. I transferred so much fuel, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like I said, you gotta sit there and you gotta watch All it. Alright. <laughs> oh god, I'm so unbalanced now. Yeah, I've been on balance. I'm getting closer back to balance. Yeah, I left that fuel pump on so long. Yep, exactly what I did. All right, altitude. Altitude, we go to 1500. Well, there's a definite lack of trees coming up. Yeah, I'm so. thinking I see it, it just hasn't rendered enough yet. Yeah, possible. Yep, I'm down to right. 1,600 feet up. now. Oh, you're up above, in front of me now, okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to slow down, lose altitude, all that good stuff. This is uh, an airbase. I think I've been to this airport, to this airbase before. In real Not life? Not in real life, in the sim. Oh, in the sim? Oh, in the sim. We did a flight uh, on Joey Bolo's stream. I think it was. I don't know. Alright. Yes, I know my fuel is low. Turn off that blinking yellow light. Turn the autopilot off and it started dipping on the left side. Yep. Yeah, she's a little heavy with her. <laughs> it's kind of cool that that's all in the game, you know? Oh, it is. It's amazing what they put into this stuff. You know, even though it's not 100% perfect, uh, but it's, you know, everything is. It gets you the idea behind it. It gets you thinking about aviation and what you have to do. And that's the whole point of it. Yeah, I would have never thought about having to switch tanks. I mean, that is just asinine to me. It's like, who designed that <laughs> crap? Well, it's, it's like the, uh, the x Cup. It's like, why do you have to differentiate between the wings 
so on that aircraft, obviously, the right wing will feed the engine and the left wing will feed it, the engine. Why couldn't you just have a boat and let both of them do it? Right. And then if one pump is starting to get weak, you know, and isn't pumping as fast, then you can select that other tank so that it can catch up. And then you go back to both of you. Just my thought. <laughs> I mean, the plumbing is there. All you need is uh, a position at where both valves are open. See this touchdown. Yeah, I like touching down so much I do it two or three times each landing. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count for like do you get like three landings out of that? <laughs> I don't. Mm -hmm. All right, congratulations. Oh, you're down. Leg complete. Leg complete. Yep, uh, 35 minutes on that one. So that is the end of leg four. And we are pushing the 1 a.m. mark, guys. so we will not be doing leg five tonight, although it's even the last <laughs> one. Uh, besides, I want to get up in the air real quick and uh, go harass angry. So that's it. Um, we have to wait for leg five next weekend. And we'll see you then. <laughs>